My name is uh, Stefan. I'm uh, the lead artist on uh, this production. My name is uh, Lasse. I'm uh, the technical artist. I do tech stuff and also 3D stuff. The main principle of, of the visual world is that it has to look like a, a painting. So we do a lot to the textual work to, to make it look like a painting. And, and also it's, it's more to get the, the textile feeling of, uh, of the painting, that it doesn't look like a flat digital painting. Uh, the, the color scheme changes uh, from each world, world, so does the light. So uh, the game, game turns much darker in the end, so, so the light and the colors change a lot. A lot of the, the models are fully 3D, but the texture is like textured in screen space. They only work from one angle and we only have one angle in the game. We have some models that are fully 3D and textured traditionally and they they don't pop as much. They don't have this textured feel that the, the 2D uh, textures have. So we had to make some technical solutions where we scroll basically a bump map kind of texture that uh, simulates the brush strokes over the 3D models in 2D space, like flat on the screen. When, for example, we have a windmill that rotates, then we scroll the texture flat on top of that and then it gets this 2D feel. The main technical thing has been that you need to get this 2D texture way of painting to, to work on, on 3D. So many of the objects which looks like they're 2D are actually 3D objects. Whilst we, we can like move them around because mm -hmm. it is a computer game. And it's There's been some, some hurdles that, although you save on the texture space when you don't have to texture the backside of objects, they, it's also limiting. Sometimes you really want to turn this a bit to fit the level and then we had to come up with having some stuff in 3Ds that lets the designers uh, <coughs> work a little bit more creatively instead of having only 2D stuff. So we can't rotate this, we can't go over here, we can only go over here instead.